In this question, a scientist wants to determine how many moles of potassium phosphide K3P are needed to make 343 grams of phosphorus P4. Okay, and in this question, we aren't provided with a balanced chemical equation. We're going to need to balance that ourselves. We also aren't provided with the molar mass of each compound. We're going to need to find those ourselves as needed. So let's start out by writing our plan. So we're given 343 grams of P4. And we need to find moles of K3P. That's our goal. Now, since we're given the number in grams to start with, we know we're going to have to convert that to moles before we can use our conversion factor from the balanced equation. So we're going to first get from grams of P4 into moles of P4. That's going to be our first step. Then we can convert from moles of P4 to moles of K3P using the conversion factor we'll get from a balanced equation. So then we can do our second step. And in this question, we're just finding the moles of K3P in the end. We don't need to find the mass of K3P. If we did need to find the mass, we would just add one more step at the end where we convert from moles of K3P to mass of K3P. Okay, so for our first step in our conversion, going from grams of P4 to moles of P4, we're going to need to know the molar mass of P4 in order to use that as our conversion factor. So let's go to our periodic table and find the relative atomic mass of phosphorus. Here's phosphorus. Phosphorus has a relative atomic mass of 30.97. So phosphorus has a relative atomic mass of 30.97 grams per mole. And in P4, we've got four lots of phosphorus. So we've got four lots of phosphorus, which is four lots of 30.97 grams per mole, which gets us a molar mass of 123.88 grams per mole. And remember, that means that 123.88 grams of P4 is equal to one mole of P4. So that's our conversion factor that we're now going to use in our step one, which is going from grams of P4 to moles of P4. So let's go ahead and fill in that first step in our conversion table. So grams of P4 is going on the bottom so that it will cancel out because we want to end up with moles of P4. So I'm going to put that on the top. Then I need my numbers in here so that the top and bottom of my fraction are equal. So I know that one mole of P4 is equal to 123.88 grams of P4. Awesome. So that's the first step in our conversion done. The second step is converting from moles of P4 to moles of K3P. To do that, we're going to use a balanced chemical equation to get our conversion factor. But first, we're going to have to balance our equation since it's not balanced here. So I'm going to go through my method for balancing a chemical equation. So I'm going to write out my little table where I've got my element, I've got my reactants, and I've got my products. And our elements in this equation are K and P. So right now, We've got three Ks in our reactants because we've got K3P and one P in our reactants. In our products, we've got one K and we've got four Ps. Okay. So I could start by adding anything to either side. What I think I'm going to do, since I know I need to have four Ps on the right, I'm going to add four P's on the left by multiplying the K3P by four. Because I'm just making an intelligent guess here that I need to end up with P4 on the right. So I'm going to add a four there. So I've got four P's now on the left. So let's recalculate our reactants and products for each element now that I've made that change. 
So we now have four sets of K3P. So that's four times three, which is 12 Ks before and four Ps before. And then after we've still got one K and four Ps. Okay, great. So now our P, our phosphorus looks good and balanced, but our potassium K still isn't balanced. I've got 12 in my reactants, so I need 12 in my products. And luckily K is on its own in this equation. So if I just add 12 there, that should balance it. So let's calculate our reactants and products one more time just to check that that has worked. So for our reactants, we've got four sets of three for potassium, which is 12. And we've got four phosphorus. We've now got 12K and we've got 4P. So that's now balanced for K potassium and it's balanced for the P phosphorus. So this is our correctly balanced equation. So I'm going to fill that in answer boxes now. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead now and use this to find our conversion factor between P4 and K3P. So here's K3P. We've got four of those. Here's P4. We've got one of those. So to write a conversion factor, that tells me that four moles of K3P equals one mole of P4. And that is now going to be my conversion factor that I'm going to use in my dimensional analysis table. So we've got moles P4 on the top, so I'm going to put moles P4 on the bottom as well so that those will cancel out. And I want to end up with moles of K3P, so that's going on the top. Then we need to add our numbers to make sure the top and bottom are equal. So we've got one mole of P4 equals four moles of K3P. Okay, wonderful. So we've got our dimensional analysis table all set up. Now we need to cancel units that are the same on the top and the bottom. So I'm cancelling grams of P4, I'm cancelling moles of P4, and I'm just left with moles of K3P, which is good because that's what we're trying to figure out. Now I need to multiply everything on the top, multiply everything on the bottom, and divide. So that gets me 343 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 4, moles of K3P divided by 124 times 1. So if I put that in my calculator, I get 11.1 .1 moles of K3P, which I can put in my answer box here. Awesome. So as you can see, this question was identical to the previous skill. However, we had to do two parts of it ourselves. We had to balance our equation ourselves and we had to calculate the molar mass of our compounds ourselves so that we could use those things to get our conversion factors. If you need more practice at balancing equations, head back to the balancing equations unit. If you need more practice at calculating molar mass, head back to the moles unit and do some extra practice there before you're ready to tackle these problems that put all those pieces together.